Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. My god, March is like jam-packed with product launches. We're having some or the other product launch like every day or every alternate day guys. So today I'm back with a new smartphone video and this is Samsung's new M-series phone guys. They've just launched their brand new most affordable category phone and also their first M-series phone to actually feature a 90Hz display. Keeping that aside, it also packs some uh, other features as well like it's got a quad camera 48 megapixel camera that too with a true 48 megapixel sensor and also packs 6000 milliampere battery guys and today in this video we're gonna unbox it and i'll be giving like my first impressions on this phone so let's get started so here it is guys the galaxy m12 comes in this sort of box packaging as usual the phone comes in this simple white box with the picture of the phone on the front side say samsung branding everywhere and the galaxy m12 uh, branding also written everywhere on the box that is pretty much it now going to the back side we've got some of its features mentioned which are pretty much the same that i've told you just now guys so you know without wasting any more time let's directly unbox it and i'll give you a closer look at the phone and I forgot to mention, the phone is actually available in like two variants, 4 plus 64 and 6 plus 128 GB configurations. The one we have right now is the 6 plus 128 GB model. And if you ask about the colors, well, it's actually available in like three different colors. The one we have right now is probably the blue color variant, guys. So yeah, it is blue. Okay, let's unbox it and check out the phone. As usual, we've got an accessory box at the top. I guess we only have some paperwork here. Yep, true. You only have some paperwork and SIM ejection tool. That is pretty much it. And at the top of the box, we've got a brand new Galaxy A12 in blue color. We'll just come back to the phone in a moment. And guys, along with that, you get a regular 15 watt fast charger in the box and a USB type C cable for charging and data transfer. That's it, these are all the stuff we got in the package. What I'll do is I'll just give you a closer look at the phone and then we'll talk about the design and the build quality. So guys, here is our brand new Galaxy M12 from Samsung. And to be honest, from my first impressions, the phone looks very identical to Galaxy A12, especially this two-tone design, guys. We'll be talking about the design in a moment. First, what I'll do is I'll give you a physical overview on the device, and then we'll see what do we have on all the sides, starting off from the front side. So on the front side, you've got a 6.5 inch uh, HD plus PLS IPS display. And the best part about it is it's got a 90 Hertz refresh rate panel. The bezels do look quite thin, but that is something I'll be able to tell you after powering on the phone. And if you go to the top side, guys, you've got an Infinity V kind of notch with a 8 megapixel selfie camera in between there and also a tiny earpiece just above the camera. That's it on the front side. Now going to the side over here, the phone comes with a fingerprint scanner, you know, built into the power button itself. I kind of prefer this design, very convenient, I feel. And above that, you've got the volume rocker. Quality of the buttons also looks pretty good. So going to the top side, guys, you've got the secondary noise cancellation microphone. And on the other side over here, you've got the SIM card tray. You've got a traditional SIM card tray only, you know, dual nano SIMs plus a micro SD card slot. So you can even expand the storage up to one TB as said by Samsung. And on the bottom side, guys, you've got a 3.5 mm headphone jack. Yes, that is there. A primary microphone, type C port for charging and a single down firing speaker. And this is how the phone looks from the back side. Let me just peel off this sticker. There we go. So guys, as you can see, the phone has a two-tone finish. The upper half of the phone has a textured line surface, whereas the bottom surface, you know, has a matte finish, smooth matte finish. Good thing is it doesn't have that glossy surface, you know, unlike the previous generation M-series phone. So, you know, you won't get scratches or fingerprints that easily on this kind of surface. If you ask about the build quality, build quality of the phone looks actually pretty good for the price. The back and the side is entirely made of like high quality plastic material only yes definitely plastic so yeah if you go on the bottom side you've got the samsung logo over here and to the top side guys you've got a quad camera setup this is a true 48 megapixel quad camera setup the primary one is a 48 megapixel camera then you've got a 5 megapixel ultra wide angle camera there's also a 2 megapixel macro and one more 2 megapixel for depth sensing along with that you do have a tiny led flash as well below the camera setup so that's it guys and I forgot to tell you about the battery. The phone comes with a 6000 milliampere battery and in spite of having that big battery, it's only around like 9.7 mm thick. And if you ask about the weight, it's around like 221 grams guys. But I do have to mention the phone feels quite comfortable when you hold it in your hand, especially because of these curved edges. So what I'll do is I'll just power on the phone, set it up and be right back to continue the video. 
All right guys, so I'm back to continue the video. The phone is all set up and good to go. And I've also set up the fingerprint scanner on it. I've told you right, it's got the fingerprint scanner built into the power button. So let's quickly put that to a test and see how quickly it unlocks the phone. Okay. Not bad. Fingerprint scanner was working almost all the time guys and I'd say the fingerprint scanner was decently fast enough but not that fast also as I was expecting but anyways working pretty well and here you go this is how the display on the Galaxy M12 looks like let me just adjust the brightness so it'll be you know perfectly visible for you people in the video. So here you go, we've got a 6.5 inch HD plus PLS IPS display guys with 90 hertz refresh rate. And if you talk about the bezels, the bezels do look quite thin, especially on the sides and the top, but you do have a thick chin on the bottom side. Anyways, uh, let's just quickly open up the settings and I'll show you the software info first. I've told you, right, the phone comes with Android version 11, I guess, let me show you. Yes, you do get Android version 11 out of the box and runs on one UI core 3.1 version. So that was about the software info and if you would ask me about the refresh rate, the phone definitely feels a bit smoother thanks to that 90Hz panel. I don't know if you can see in the video but compared to a normal 60Hz phone this definitely feels a bit smoother. Basically Samsung used to use these in their entry level smartphones and they've decided to go with that only on this phone. Uh, see the main target of this phone was see it was made specially for people who want long battery life a smooth 90 hertz display and like a great camera that's it it's not made for like gaming or anything like that so don't expect you'll be able to do decent gaming on this phone keeping that aside what i'll do is I'll just quickly play some video on youtube and then i'll show you you know how the display on it looks like the display quality and also we'll have a glance at the sound quality of the speaker as well Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a great Sunday and I'm back with an awesome video and I have something exclusive to show you all in this video. So HP and Intel have sent us a brand new laptop guys and this is one of their premium Spectre series line of laptop guys and that is what I'm like super excited to show you in this video. So this is a brand new 11th gen Spectre X360 convertible laptop guys. Yes, it's a 2-in-1 convertible laptop that means you can use it in both laptop as well as tab mode. Initial impressions, the display quality on it is actually pretty decent. I've told you right, it's got a 720p HD panel, so there's good amount of detail, but don't expect like super sharp or crispy text as you would see on a 1080p panel. But anyways, you're compromising that for a 90 hertz super smooth experience, right? So I'd say that is pretty fine. The colors were also nice thanks to that PLS IPS panel and brightness is also decent. We'll be talking about in depth about the display and all that in my full review video, guys. This is just like an unboxing and first impressions kind of video right so i don't want to go in depth and talk about that all right before i wrap up the video let me just quickly open up the camera app and show you how the ui looks like so here you go as usual the same camera app ui guys on this phone also let's just quickly take some pictures and check it out okay pretty snappy the camera samples do look pretty nice from my first look it's got, I've told you right, it's got a true 48 megapixel sensor. So I'm really looking forward to test out the cameras on it. I'll be, you know, shooting some sample pictures and video clips in different scenarios. And then we'll be talking about the full camera review in my next video that I'll be posting very soon. So that is pretty much it guys. I want to wrap up the video for now. Uh, if you have any questions, do let me know so that I can cover them in my full review video. And wait a second, I totally forgot to mention about the price. See, the phone was actually under embargo while making this video. So I have like no idea what the pricing of this phone could be. But to take a guess, I'm assuming it might be around like maybe 11 or 12,000 rupees. Uh, I'll let you know the exact pricing details once the phone is available in the Indian market. I'll let you know in the description box below. So stay tuned for that. That's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.